Yo, what's going on? Yo, what's up, bro dragons? Welcome back in the channel. It's Riven here. Yo, today we are talking about Glimish.tv and their and some of the community made bots out there. If you have not heard about Glimish.tv, it is a new streaming service that is coming up in nine days, zero hours, 44 minutes, and 28 seconds. Dudes, check it out. It's an up and coming streaming site. Right off the bat, you're gonna have cool profiles, which is awesome. I love the profiles. Shows off your little uh, you know, what you're about if you have embedded screenshots. Uh, or just your text and what you're about. Uh, then you have the channel, which is kind of like a, you know, kind of gives you like a high level of the profile, but you can get really detailed in your profile if you really want to, which I really like that. Uh, on top of that, you're also gonna be able to stream using FTL. Uh, if you remember Mixer, poor Mixer, RIP. Uh, you'll be using FTL, faster than light technology, which is like extremely fast and probably the best for interacting engagement uh, through your communities while streaming. Uh, and then you have subscriptions right off the bat, uh, which is awesome. This will be only available to limited countries at the start. Uh, so if you don't have the sub button, a specific country you're streaming in, uh, be patient. It's coming. Uh, the community, the Glimish community team will be hosting live events. There's some coming up that are right now. If there's a tweet out there for a form. I'll leave it down in the description uh, that you can actually apply to and possibly be chosen to be highlighted on their front page uh, through a live stream with the community and kind of like interviewed and get to know you in the community. Get to know you. So that's pretty cool. Fill it out. Uh, and then there's also more coming and they have a roadmap. I'll leave the link down to the below in, in the description below for this as well. You can check it out. Uh, but let's talk about what we're really here for today. Uh, to be able to have an interactive uh, stream on Glimish when we first start. So there's a few bots out there. There's Odiebot, there's uh, Pixel Chat, there's uh, Glimboy. Uh, I ended up landing on Glimboy because Glimboy is a little bit more what I was looking for in terms of commands and points and raffles and things like that. So. To get to it, I'll leave this in the description below. Uh, you can download uh, this file. So to get it, you come down here. I need to set up. You'll click release pages. Uh, then the newest version he just released four days ago, a mytho is a developer. Props to him. Thank you very much for taking time to make this bot for us. Uh, you will go ahead and click on this install. Uh, when you get it, when you actually go to run this bot, you're going to be told Windows doesn't under doesn't Windows does not trust this. It's not verified with Microsoft. The sick, there's no there's no verified signature with Microsoft. Click more info. Click to run anyway, and it'll start to install. And then from there, follow the instructions on the screen to get the application installed. Um, so don't 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 flip out. It's like whoa, why is it telling me it doesn't want me to run it? So just click more info and then click run anyway, and you'll be fine. Um, and then um, <clears throat> once you get the bot installed, this is the first side of the bot. This one's a little bit more involved than most other bots because you actually have to make your own application to the bot. Uh, and that can take a few steps. Uh, so now there's two ways of doing this. Uh, you click create bot. And then underneath the test bot, uh, you'll click on the uh, uh, the app. Well, you click create application. Uh, and in the instructions at the very beginning, it tells you how to log into the bot uh, and what you need to do. So once you log into the bot, uh, once you log into your app, once you log into your homepage, you're going to make a, you know, test bot. The whole page has to be HTTP localhost 3000. The description could be test bot. You can make an image for the bot if you want. And then it has to be, uh, slash success. Uh, make sure it's spelled correctly. You don't have three C's in it like I do or it'll work. You'll save your application. After you save your application, you will get a screen that looks like this. Uh, your credentials. Uh, make sure that these are kept hidden and kept secret. These are these are for you and only you. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. Um, then you go ahead and click the client ID. Paste it, the client ID into the client ID uh, field. The secret key field. Click copy. Drop it into the secret key field. You'll hit save. After you hit save, you'll authenticate. Um, I'm not gonna do that because I already have a bot made. Um, so, but. A little tip, I've noticed that when I come here and play around with it, uh, if I just join the channel, my bot's not authenticated. So it seems like I have to re-authenticate my bot for some reason every time I come out. I don't know if it's a bug. Um, so just, just be certain to go click authenticate. Um, if that pops up, then you're fine. I shouldn't, you should be good to go. Um, and then you're gonna go over to join channel, click join chat, put in your chat name. You'll hit join. It'll give you, hey, it's connected. Please disconnect when you're finished. Um, I have logs set up, so I don't mind that. Once um, 
once you are done streaming, you can hit leave chat and this has that has been disconnected successfully. They recommend um, that you disconnect the bot every single time because it closes connections cleanly and there's no there won't be any issues when you close the app out and start streaming again. It'll just it's just better if you're doing that. Um, so join my chat. Uh, now we have commands we can set up. So I set up two already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I set up the follow bot, you know, uh, the follow command. So if someone types in, hey, if the channel, if you enjoy it, uh, was supposed to be, hey, if, follow the channel if you enjoy the content. But, you know, typing's hard. Uh, so shout out, and then you have variables you can use. So the shout out command, you know, would be exclamation point SO. It would look at the variable target. Uh, and the target, you know, if you've never used commands before, or you're new to commands. Um, where is Glimish? Uh, you know, you're just going to do SO, the target obviously being the streamer name and then it shoots out the message that you put out there now a little a little little pitfall uh if you are copying and pasting uh so we edit this command so we edit the command so edit you are copying pasting from here right and then you paste it and hit edit oh, i didn't do it but anyway if you are po if you are copying and pasting from someone that has a background color um so if I'm copying and pasting from a website that has color and you paste in here, sometimes you actually see the background color behind here uh, and it will give you a weird error message. And I think it's actually in my chat because I messed around with it earlier. Um, it tells you, it will show you the span style, background color, the RGB number. Um, hey, if you enjoy the channel and then it doesn't fully because it's it's looking for that RGB. Uh, so it's looking for that, uh, the background color that I set up. Make sure you paste uh, it in the, in the notepad to get rid of all the formatting, it becomes flat text, and then you can go ahead and paste it back into your uh, into your command area, so you don't get that background and that annoying code that pops up. That's a little bug uh, that can just be coded out and you know not look at that look at that syntax, and whatever. So even if we do put it in as background color, it won't it won't grab it. Uh, if you need the variables to make different commands, uh, I like that it's a, a command count. So if you're playing games like Neo or um, you know, keeping track of your deaths or even your wins in like Apex Legends or uh, Fortnite or anything like that. Uh, you can you can have a command and be like wins. Um, so you can turn around and say like, oh, let's add a command. We'll say uh, win, winning, um, data response. We have had command count winning. Um, hit add. Now, if I'm using this right, come back over to my chat. What's going on here? We'll go like this. So it's its own separate thing. We'll type in. We have had zero wins. So it'll count every time you use that winning. Now, there's a very basic way of using it. You'd probably want to um, uh, have a different command that you use uh, over here for winning uh, for like wins so you just type an exclamation point um, with like uh, like with, with um, oops with like let's go or something like that for a win and then every time someone uses the winning account it will count the win command uh, so then you can actually use different things instead of counting up using the same command because it actually can be uh, kind of annoying so you'd have two separate commands one for win with a different data with the data channel saying hey yes we won or hey let's go or you know, super awesome, whatever you want to make it. It's kind of corny, but whatever. And then the winning one would actually count the win command to show you, oh, I, it's had it's had seven uses. We've had seven wins. Uh, those, that's I think that's cool. That's fun. Uh, I like I like silly things like that. So I grabbed it. And then there's basic things in here, like advice. I haven't used this yet. It gives you basic advice and basic dad jokes. Um, so that's 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 funny. You know, dad jokes are always good to have, you know. Who doesn't like a good dad joke? And then you have points. Uh, you can set up points. You can add the values for the points. Uh, you can set up, um, you know, how many points are earned per, per every 15 minutes. Right now, I have it set for 10. The name of my currency is Nuggets. Uh, you can have chat cooldowns. You can set this. I want to set this for, you know, 30 seconds between chat commands so they can't, so people can't spam uh, commands. Um, the repeat delay, the amount of time uh, that must pass the next repeatable command is sent to chat. So the next is 10 seconds. Uh, repeat protection. You may have non-bot messages for the next repeat message to go through. It's 15 seconds, so you can't spam chat. You only can send a message every 15 seconds. Uh, I think that's nice. 
Um, and then the users or viewers, you can set up as well. You can add people to it. You can add quotes. You can edit them. You can add points to them. You can view all your quotes. Um, and there you can add roles. I think roles are coming. I don't think roles are here just yet. Um, but you can add different things. So you can actually have like a, a, a progression for your, for your, for your viewers as like, you know, the stuff is like, you know, in my, in my, in my uh, gilded right now. You know, you come in, you start as a hatch, a, you know, a bro hatching, then you do level, become bro wealth, and then you just keep going up the ranks of dragons, you know, bro dragons, bro great dragon, uh, bro, bro elder bro dragon, you just keep going up the ranks. So that's cool. It gives a little bit more incentive to talk and get things, and you can give different, you know, you can give then different points. When you hit a certain amount of points, you can give like, you know, specific awards or extra raffles to, or extra raffle tickets to people who reach certain things. So we're a great way to show loyalty back to your viewership, uh, which is awesome. Uh, I like the fact that you has this to be able to start you start this um you click start you then type um you come here you type raffle uh raffle started you press enter the the the, the people type in enter um did i type that in right yes and then you click view participants ribbon bro dragons you hit end raffle or view participants excuse me i hit end by accident raffle Enter, and after a minute, uh, the bot will go ahead and um, decide who the winner was. Um, so there's nothing else you have to do. You just gotta type in raffle once you hit start, which is very cool. Uh, there's no interaction between Stream Deck yet. Uh, this is obviously the very basic part. I think this bot would actually become a really good bot. Um, I like the design. I think the only thing I would like to see change on the bot um, is that it would read from the commands. So it's so it will show you what commands are actually there. So you don't have to type in every single command to edit. It will pull up, you know, once you hit once you hit, uh, it will just read from this from this text area. You can actually just click on the commands that exist already. Um, Glib Boy has built in commands. You see commands, you can see quote, you can see add users, remove users, delete users. You can do user new mytho would add it to user list. Um, which would be for like a viewership. If so for some reason something didn't get added to it or whatever the case, you can actually manually add people to it. Uh, so if your bot showing up here and gaining points, you can move the bot, um, which is cool. But other than that, guys, I really, really like this bot. You can chat through it from here. Um, <clears throat> I probably wouldn't do that. I'd probably set this up right now. It's on my, my gaming machine. I'm probably going to move this over to my streaming PC. Um, and once I set it up, it'll just be over there. I won't use this for chatting. I'll use it for just all the different uh, abilities and just pop out the Glimish chat when I'm streaming um, and just make it easier because it's just I'm not a big fan of the uh <clears throat> of the interface for the chat because if you look at it you can do shout out ribbon bro dragon oops enter doesn't send it just makes a new character a uh, new return or, or return character a carriage returns i'm trying to say or new line so it show and it, and it goes and it goes um ascending order instead of descending order so that, that's that's different too usually you know chats are going descending instead of ascending um so it's, it just takes a little bit of getting used to, but I think I would just use this to set up all the points and whatnot. Um, and hopefully, you know, Mytho, a Mytho will start building uh, different uh, uh, approvals here. Otherwise, I think it's a great bot. Um, also, if you notice, it doesn't hold chat history. So every time you come off a chat, you lose the history. Um, so that's why I would just recommend using this as a bot uh, and set up chat and just use and just pop out chat for for your uh for your stream through the glimish uh website which is which is great and as and as myth and as a mytho approves on this uh we'll probably see different features and then you know eventually i guess stream labs and stream balance will be down if that, that that becomes your flavor of choice for bots but other than that guys that is glim boy uh in a nutshell i hope you guys found this useful uh any questions setting up the bot yo just let me know down below if you're having issues with the bot you can come to the github uh report an issue uh, and hopefully, uh, a mytho will actually be able to, uh, help you out. You know, it's an alpha notice. Um, so may delete the bot users is probably going to be worked anyway. It should be ready for ones when it's just bugs. So, so, so obviously it's still an alpha. So, you know, I have it set up right now and he made a statement there that's probably, you know, the bot might be deleted or I have to reinstall the bot. So whatever the case, it's fine. But right now it's a great way to set it up and use it. But any issues that you're having after launch of this bot, make sure you come to here, report it here. I don't see a Discord anywhere. If, if, if a Mytho actually has a Discord, you can join. Um, but it's very, very cool. Uh, definitely check it out. I'm, I'm excited for this, for this bot. I, I love things like this. 
I'm really excited to see it, uh, and hopefully it goes a long way. So, guys, any questions, please leave a comment below. Uh, I will definitely answer as many as I can, and, and I appreciate you checking out this video. I will check you all out next time. Uh, you can find me over on glimish.tv slash live and bro dragon. I'm streaming now over on twitch.tv slash live and bro dragon. I will leave that all down in the description below. I will check you all out later. I'll see you guys. Thank you for watching this. Peace out, everyone. Bye.